Hello, 7th graders. So today is the 17th of September 2020, and today's lesson will be uh, solving or answering the rest of the exercises that we have for the vocabulary in both and comprehension in both the student book close up and the workbook of your close ups. So today we will continue with exercise uh, letter G in in page nine okay uh, we have started lately to talk about the nation names and the nationality names of, of uh, people and today we will continue with this exercise uh, I believe that uh, I've read this before so I read the whole text and today so uh, I will give you the answers for this text or for this exercise because I have read it before so or in the last video so today I will give you the answer so the first answer for this exercise will be um, this is a photo of my family this is a photo of my family ما نحن هون عم نحكي عن هاي الصورة أكيد فالشرح كله رح يكون من هاي الصورة إحنا قرأناها وشرحناها بس رح أعطيكم إجاباتها لأنه في بعض الصفوف ما أخذوا إجاباتها الكاملة so write them down كل نكتب الإجابات في عنا this is a photo of my family so gap number one will be filled of or with family gap number two would be filled with sister Becky is my sister um, three my little brother Oscar so gap three is brother and for gap four uh, they have five grandchildren for gap five they are twins and they are 16 twins and for gap six, we have surname. Gap seven, we have married. And for gap eight, it's granddaughter. Okay, so this is for the exercise we have here. Okay. Now, moving to exercise H, exercise letter H. Let's read first the exam close-up as we do usually. The exam close-up is telling you to identifying a set of words. هذا الكلام معناه مس إنه to get to know what is a set of words. A set of words are a bunch of words together that give you that give you the uh, definition or identify, identify for you the meaning of another word. يعني لما أنا بحكي لك مثلا um, الولد يلي جابته okay? الولد يلي جابته أمي الولد يلي جابته أمي من رح يكون؟ أخوي إذا هو البرادة تبعي فأنا عم بعرفك باستخدام الست of words أو باستخدام كلمات معينة زي تعريف معين لحتى تعرف أنت من خلال هذا التعريف من خلال هدول الست of words ال identification أو ال definition أو ال word اللي راح تطلع عندك خلينا نشوف إيش هو ال exam close up read the instructions أنا عم بقرأ هون read the instructions and underline the vocabulary topic يعني نحن رح نقرأ التعليمات وبعدين رح نعمل underlining the vocabulary topic إيش هو vocabulary topic اللي هو العنوان الرئيسي اللي بجسده أو اللي عليه الفوكسينج من الفوكابيلري تبعنا As we started, we started to get to know about the family members The family members each um, now, um, now we know more about the family members like on each side we know about the mother the grandma the grandpa the grandchildren etc etc so the topic in the instructions please write it down كلنا نكتبوا عنا على الكتاب انه التوبيك الرئيسي اللي نحكي عنه ب instructions هو عبارة عن family members الا وهم افراد العائلة اللي احنا ركزنا عليهم من خلال المعاني او الوكابيري تاعيتنا هون 
جوابنا رح يكون او التبك تبعنا رح يكون family members اوكي okay. second read the definitions of the words carefully نحن مطلوب منا انه نحن نقرا نقرا وايش ونفهم ونستوعب we have to read and we have to understand what we are reading and this is called not just scanning or skimming or whatever this is called understanding انه احنا نفهم شو عم نقرا ف عم يطلب منا هون الاكزام كلوز اب ان اوردر تو ريد ذا ديفينيشنز with the words and please focus on your words or read carefully لازم احنا بنقرا التعريف الموجود عندنا لكلمه معينه نركز على الكلمات اللي موجوده لحتى تكون هي الجايد او تكون دليلنا للحل اوكي okay? third the answers you write should all link يعني الاجوبتنا اللي احنا لازم نكتبها لازم تكون كلياتها مترابطه check them carefully against each other and the topic So let's see the connection. Let's search for the connection between our answers and the topic. لازم يكون في عنا connection, relationship between the answers we will give to the exam task and the topic we have as a family members. لازم يكون في عنا اتصال وتواصل صلة ما بين أجوبتنا اللي إحنا بنختارها ما بين التوبيك اللي اخترناه يعني لازم يكون كل شيء إحنا بنحله under this topic title اللي هي topic sorry under this topic or under this title لازم يكون كله إلى علاقة بأفراد الأسرة last check your spelling check your spelling your pronunciation your spelling for the pronunciation okay for an example when we say exam exam You can say the whole word, the whole letters in the word. E X A M. Exam. Task for another example. T A S K. All there. So our spelling is perfect. Task. Okay. So now let's continue after we've read the exam close up. Now with exercise I. Now complete the exam task. We will continue with the exam task, and I'll let you know how to do that. Read the description of some words for family members. What is the word for each one? This is the topic we have taken or stealing. Okay? We are stealing the topic from here. What is the word for each one? The first letter is already there. There is one space for each letter in the word. Okay. شو المطلوب منا؟ What do we want to do? What exercise I is asking us asking from us to do؟ في عنا هون بحكي لنا بعد ما احنا اخذنا ال description عن او المواصفات او التفسير لا ال family members topic okay we have to know or get to know the words for each one for each member the first letter is already there هم مساعدينك بالحرف الاول واحنا اتفقنا انه احنا كلياتنا مسمين الحرف الاول او الثاني والثالث من كل كلمه initial letters فقط للتذكير الحروف الاوليه من كلمه معينه there is one space for each letter in the word اذا عندك بس فراغ واحد لكل حرف ناقص بالكلمه تمام هذا الاشي رح نشتغل عليه ورح ارجع اذكر الناس يلي ما كتبت هاي المعلومة انه احنا عنا تحت كل تكست في اكزام كلوز اب تمام اللي هو بيعطينا الدايركشنز هاو تو ريد بيتر وفي عنا الاكزام تاسك which gives you it's your check up it's your small uh, test in your book اللي هو عبارة عن تدقيق من بعد فهمنا للقراءة جوات الكتاب زي امتحان بسيط It's a task إنه هو إشي زي مهارة مطلوبة منك لحتى تحققها لحتى تفهم أو تتأكد To make sure that you understood everything you took Okay So starting with the first one This child is a boy This child is a boy We are talking about our child Okay My child And he is a boy What we call this person Son Son. So the letters here are O and N. Two. This child is a girl. I have a child and this child is a girl. The girly child I have, I will name her as my daughter. The letters missing are A U G H T E R. A woman who is married to a man. مين هي الامرأة يلي مرتبطة بشخص او متزوج الشخص شو بسميها what is the identification for this person or for this woman she is the wife الزوجة a man who is married to a woman 
من هو الشخص او الرجل المرتبط او متزوج بامرأة we call them the husband okay make sure to write them down all he is your mother's or father's brother مين هو الشقيق امك او ابوك your uncle انكل طبعا تزبط للجعلان عمك او خالك She is your mother's or father's sister. مين هي؟ Aunt. مين هي شقيقة أمك أو شقيقة أبوك؟ نسميها Aunt. والAunt بتزبط للعمة وللخالة as well. This is your mother's sister child. This is your mother's sister child. نحن هون عم نتحدث عن ال child of your mother's sister. So your mother, she has a sister. This is the child of her sister. This would be your cousin اللي احنا حكينا عن هي الكلمه الثانيه من relative so cousin or relative both are اللي هم الناس who are related to you somehow or first cousin relationship or second or third اللي هم الناس المرتبطين فيكم ارتباط الدم لكن مش مش ابوك او امك فهم بيكونوا الكازنز تاعونا اللي هم الاقرباء اوكي okay. So now let's move to the word or the ideas focus. For the ideas focus, we have two questions and these questions are divided into parts. Uh, what you should do with these questions? You should ask yourself these questions and find your own answers. Each one of you should ask this question and please try to answer it yourself. Let's try this one. Would you like to go back to a date in your past? Why? And why not? Okay. السؤال عم يحكي لنا إنه هل نحن منحب أو منفضل إنه نرجع لتاريخ معين بحياتنا بالماضي؟ إذا آه ليش؟ وإذا لا ليش؟ Okay. فكل واحد يسأل حاله هذا السؤال. Please ask yourself this question and find your answer, find your own answer, and see why or why not. هذا رح يكون ideas focus هذا الشيء انت بتركز عليه مثل حتى in order to get to know that you understand your task or not question number two a big family is better than a small family do you agree why or why not do you agree that a big family is better than a small family why and why not okay So now all of us should move. Now all of us should move to what? We all should move to our work books, our work books, and we will talk especially in page four. In our workbooks, we have the same unit title, Who Am I? And we are starting with a reading. But before the reading, we have the exam reminder. It's the same as the exam close-up. Exam reminder, who will be the books tafkiri in order to remind you of a little tips or little of instructions. So I read them. Reading for main ideas as usually. Find the most important information in a text to make it easier to understand. I already told you a lot about this look for the main ideas that are in each paragraph next to each paragraph write keywords and i'm sure that all of you know what is a keyword to help you remember these ideas احنا حكينا انه في عنا خطوات كتير منيحة ورائعة لحتى تعلمنا نقرأ قراءة سليمة ومنها انها نحط الكي وورد نرتب فقراتها نعرف شو المين ايدياز تاعون التكست تبعنا لحتى نحل أج... نحل اسئله احنا اصلا او نطول اجوبه احنا اصلا لسؤال لسه مش عارفين ايش هو اوكي سو ليتس ستارت وذ ذا فيرست بارت اوف ريدينج اي ريد ذا اكزام ريمايندر وات دو يو رايت نيكست تو ايتش باراجراف اوف ا تكست وات دو وي رايت نيكست تو ايتش باراجراف اوف ذس يو شود رايت ذا كي وورد نيكست تو ايتش باراجراف اوف ا تكست بليز رايت ذيم داون نكتب عندنا هذا الجواب. Okay, B. Now complete the exam task. Before we complete the exam task, we have to move to something called Malik Qadri text. 